Hey, it's Low for Low Nose back at you with another tech take. So you're looking for a projector. All right, that's cool. So then you ask yourself, well, what am I looking for in a projector? So I know I'm making the right choice. Well, allow me to share with you my top three musts. First, brightness. You want a projector that is bright enough to give you a vivid, bright image that can hold up the further you pull the projector away when making the screen larger. All right. Second, a smooth OS with built-in apps. I mean, yeah, you can attach a separate TV stick, but it's so much more convenient when you have a fast OS and apps that are built in to make things so much quicker. And three, auto-focusing. The last thing you wanna do is spend five, 10, 15 minutes adjusting, readjusting, and tweaking the focus. I wanna enjoy my content now. Well, I'll tell you, I think I found all three things in the Goody 1080p home theater projector with Android TV. A seriously gorgeous 1080p projector that supports 4K inputs, gives you 500 ANSI lumens, good sounding built-in speakers, and is easy to use. Now, through my time of using the Goody, I found it gave me a lot of great detail, color saturation, and most of all, pop. And this was just me facing it on my wall. Now, I know if I had a proper screen, the image would have stood out even more. On top of that, the speakers, as I mentioned before, are surprisingly loud and full for a projector in this price range. I mean, yeah, you could connect external speakers either through a wired speakers, Bluetooth or HDMI pass through through a receiver. But I'm telling you, I found the built in speakers held up just fine. <laughs> All right. Now let's talk about the OS and apps. Now the Goody has sort of two OSs. Let me explain. When you turn on your projector, you get the usual base OS where you select inputs, access to media drives and settings. And I'll tell you, look at the menu. I mean, yeah, I know it's just a menu, but look how deep and saturated the colors are and look how clear the picture is. I know it's just a menu. Okay, you can go into settings and have your basic functions like picture mode, color temperature, aspect ratio, color range, mirror mode, image scale, focus mode, where you can choose to have the projector focus automatically when adjusting the projector, which is cool. And for deeper focus, a focus calibration tool. All right. You also have a sound mode, balance around sound and system settings. So those are your basic settings. Now, here's a cool thing. You also have the Android TV that's built in to really open up this projector. But here's an even cooler thing. It's not just built in, but you can actually use the Android TV as a standalone. Again, install the Android TV inside the projector or use the additional cables that come with it so you can use this outside of the projector as its own Android TV box. That's pretty cool. Just pair it with the included remote that has shortcuts to Netflix, Prime Video, autofocus, input selection, and Google Assistance, and Home. And once in, you now have access to the latest Android TV, which is also upgradable for the future. You have access to apps, the store, and additional settings. And you can cast to your Android TV from your smart device to compatible apps. Now, gaming on this was just fine. Although I wish the projector did give me an option for a PC or gaming mode to really reduce lag, but like I said before, it, it wasn't really noticeable. It played just fine. Didn't experience any lag at all. Okay, let's talk about what you get in the box. You get a carrying case for the projector, quick start guide and user manual, power cord, AV cord, HDMI cord, the Android TV box, USB cable to power the Android TV box, and an HDMI cable for the Android TV box. See a theme here and the remote and of course well the projector itself now to be honest i'm a bit in the middle on the build of the projector while it does look nice and appear to look like a premium projector it does feel a little light like they took the best of the high-end features of more premium projectors but had to cut some corners on the actual build to keep costs down Again, it doesn't affect the function. I'm just talking about the way it feels in my hand. So if you're going to have this in a place where it's looking pretty, it's going to do just that and give you a fantastic image. Okay, let me give you my final impression on the Goody projector. My pros and cons. Well, first, great looking picture, full sounding built-in speakers, Android TV that you can use in the projector or as a standalone, a very useful remote with some much needed shortcuts. And oh, the fan is not loud at all. I mean, take a listen. It's, in the, it's behind me. For a projector, that's pretty low. All right, my cons. Now, while I highly recommend this projector, it is far from perfect. 
The projector was not made for close range viewing, so maybe not the best for tight spaces like an office. It was a challenge setting this up in my office, but I managed. The power cord could have been longer, so expect wherever you set this up, you might have to be really close to the wall or have an extension cable. The projector did feel a little light compared to the way it actually looks, and I really wish it had proper four-point keystone adjustment. It only has the little dial in the back affecting its tilt. And there's no mounting thread. I mean, yeah, you have the riser at the bottom in the front, and you can remove it, but the way it's designed, I couldn't use my tripod with it. It just kind of got in the way. Anyways, I wanted to give you some fair, honest things that I came across. They may be deal breakers for you, but not for me, especially in this price range, especially in this price range. Overall, I found the Goody projector to be a solid option, especially if you're looking for that nice balance between premium and value. For what it is, four stars for picture, four stars for sound, 3.5 stars overall because of the little things I mentioned. I know, math. All right, hope this helped you out with your decision. Enjoy. As always, I'll leave a link down below so you can pick up your own Goody projector. Please subscribe to catch future tech reviews. Uh, hit that like if you like what's going on here and ding that bell to be notified for future videos as well. Guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. All right, Goody. What do you want to watch today? Ah!